All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys the best build runes and playstyle with Wukong top lane today, guys. Uh, quickly going over your runes, what I would always suggest is Conqueror as the main keystone. Uh, while also taking Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Bone Plate, and Overgrowth. Now, guys, uh, what I would recommend you guys a lot on Wukong... Uh, most people like to start off with a Dorrance play when it comes down to playing Wukong. But in my case, I actually kind of prefer going for a Longsword for two reasons. Uh, mainly because you're going to have three pots instead of, you know, having the one pot for more sustain during the laning phase. And having the Longsword grants more damage a little bit more. And it also grants your item faster. So when I play Wukong, I tend to go for Longsword more. Now, in terms of the matchup, we are currently into the Darius matchup, which isn't necessarily the hardest matchup out there, but it is definitely one of those which you have to be careful about. Because if he grabs us the ones, uh, we will basically die, right? But there's a, a lot of outplay potential here. Because of the way how our E works and his, uh, his Q. So mainly like during the early part of the laning phase, when it comes down to playing Wukong, it's usually about poking down your opponent with Qs uh, for the majority of the laning phase. But Darius is more of an exception. If we get close to his grab, he's going to grab us and always win. Okay. I'm actually very glad he did Q, uh, Q me there earlier. Nice, not bad. Now let's actually hold the, let's actually get the push right now. I think we might actually be able to get like a kill early. Hard push, get my other pot as well. His pot has already ran out completely. Mm, I might actually be able to kill him here. Oh. Apparently he's using ghost to run away, which is fine. It's not bad. Uh, we do have to be very careful about Zack because the chances are pretty likely he could be coming topside. Since he's still missing on the map currently. Nice. So yeah, in terms of Wukong, like there are plenty of map- Why well, I just missed a few. Um, there's plenty of matchups which are really favorable for Wukong. But Darius matchup, it really does depend on Darius for the most part. Because if he grabs you and he fails it, um, it actually- Gives you like a lot of outplay potential, right? Never settle for seconds. Now, as far as the level six goes on, on the Wukong Darius matchup, um, I'm pretty certain that we can snowball it, especially when we get a little bit of pressure from the junglers as well. My only now, one thing I also want to mention, guys, believe it or not, but right now, as of today in this patch. Wukong is currently holding the number one highest win rate champion in top lane right now, uh, next to Camille and a few others. And surprisingly enough, Wukong has been in this state for months right now. So if you are looking for the perfect top laner to carry solo queue, an easy champion, Wukong it is, guys. Just throwing out there. Right, let's actually see if we can. Oh. Now let's try. Oh, didn't want to miss that one. I think that they're probably gonna roam. Yeah, he's roaming towards my jungler. In terms of like farm, we're actually ahead of Darius, which is pretty interesting. He's gonna trade me again. Okay, not bad. He doesn't have Q, so we win that trade as well. Now we're going to get the push, because we get the level 6 first then. Mm, nice. Got side coming top side as well, so we can use him to my advantage. As long as we maintain this push right now, um, keep this Darius away from reaching level, uh, level 6, then we should be able to... Yeah. Maybe kill him. Wait. Hold on a second. He's playing it pretty safe right now. 
I want to jump on him right away. As soon as I get the chance. <laughs> Too bad. I messed it up a little bit. I could maybe still kill him. Hold on. Yeah, I messed it up a little bit. I should have uh, popped my W and then uh, used my ultimate right away. Got him. There we go. Use my flash auto Q to make my combo as efficient as possible. Now we're going to push in all the way. And I would like to go for at least one play, but we do have to be careful about Zack. I'm just going to get one. There we go. Yeah, in terms of like trading, we um, our trades have been pretty flawless so far. Um, only one thing is that when I tried all inning Darius here, I accidentally pressed my R, but my W was kind of pointless. I should have used my W first and then my R so I could get the double ultimate. Would have been uh, far better. But it's okay. Whatever. So now we're going to come back to lane. Uh, the wave is currently in this position, which is decent for me, I'd say. Um, it will eventually crash towards me, but it's taking some uh, some time. My place is at the top. We got Scion coming top as well, so maybe we could actually try to get a kill here. I think that Darius does not have any vision. About to find out. It's going to jump in right away. Not bad. Not bad. We got the wave still pushing towards us so we can use the freeze. Perfect. Not going to touch the wave right now. I'm just going to let it crash completely. I'm also going to stand close to the CS so that Darius is not even going to try to farm it. Um, all I want him to do right now is uh, we want this guy to, of, um, to miss everything. And we don't want to do anything to uh, to trade him at all. We just want to keep maintaining the wave we have here. Nice. Now maintain it. Apparently this guy is actually... Wow, this guy's having some balls. Like how he tried moving up. I think I might just crash this wave here. Maybe. Wait. Okay. We can hold it for one more. So we can crash that in here as well. So he misses everything. And after this one, we will go back to base. We already have like a 30 CS advantage because of freezing down a wave like this. I'm going to hold this one as well. I'm just going to keep holding it. I'm not going to use my W this time. I'd rather save it because my mana is li at least like halfway through. Let's see what Darius is going to do. I think I might start hard pushing from this one. No. Okay. 30 CS lead so far. We've denied this Darius a lot. <clears throat> okay, now we... Uh, all we have to do right now is just ensure we push down the wave this time. Oh, this guy's dead. Hmm. Okay. I'm not going to jump into Darius there. Would be a little too risky for me. I'm glad that Lux got that one. Okay. So... Uh, the only thing we have to be careful about right now is Zack. If he jumps into us, uh, we're going to die pretty fast. So Let's see what he does. I'm not going to... I'm going to hold my Q till the very last second. Whew, 30, 30 HP. Okay. Let's go back. We're going to buy the... Um, what do you, buy the Kindle Gym right now. Pretty upsetting that I couldn't kill Zack here, man. If I had that kill, I would have had my item already, but whatever. I could maybe sell this. No. I'm going to sell my pots and my ward so I can get my item. If I get my Define right now, my landing phase will be a lot better for me. 
I hope that Darius is not going to get the plate here. I hope he's going to place a ward down and ignores the plate. Nope. Nah, he's going for it. It's still worth. Got a backboard off. We got to find. Um, all we have to do now is just get like a slow push going again. And we will just kill him. The Definal Wukong is pretty OP, guys. The power spike from Wukong is when you get Define. Specifically. Here we go. Every is now it's all about just constantly poking down Darius through Q's and E's. Uh, he wants to try to get the... Pump the cannon. You got it. Okay, he's backing off. He's giving us the free opportunity to do something else after. Like, by pushing down this wave like this, we can actually roam after and get things done. Nice. Just getting a quick E off. Uh, this time we're going to farm up the jungle camp over here. Perfect. Alright. And then we're going to go back top afterwards. But I ain't sure we place a ward down there. Just in case, uh, you know, Falcus is going to try to steal it, you know? You know how that goes. Let's see if Darius is going to show up. Oh, he's right there. I could have technically killed him. Yeah. Could have killed him there, maybe. If I press my W, R, and then... Auto Q. I'm not really interested in fighting Darius as much right now. This guy's pretty far behind. See you later. And let's get back. Now we push. Anything from now, it's going to be pretty easy for me. Define, uh, define on Wukong is so OP, guys. Very good. Let's get some plates. Using my W as well so we can push a bit faster. Zack is currently on the bottom jungle so we don't have to worry about him. I actually want to try to get the whole uh, tower. Yep. Now we push and then we back off. Oh, what? Is he trying? Okay. This is going to be a uh, big trouble for me. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Because, because of the fact that I killed him here, I cut the triumph proc, so I healed myself up. <laughs> so I was able to survive. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> my next item right now I there, there's one thing I like so much about Wukong and that is by going for team at and going into Hydra um, that actually allows for uh, insanely well wave clear and having like a lot of damage so we're going to run that one now so if you're like snowballing incredibly hard on Wukong I would always suggest you go Define and then you just go Hydra um, if you're not really snowballing as much I would not suggest Hydra but instead going for Sterex Gauge right Let's get the blue buff. I'm gonna get the blue buff for myself. Where's my W for this one? If I get blue buff, I can spam my QE and everything more often, being able to push a lot easier. Nice one. Push next wave. All that matters right now is that we keep pushing down waves and focus on getting jungle camps and all that stuff. I like how this guy tries to stop me from farming this out, but it's absolutely not working at all. Let's get this camp over here. Oh, 
There's a Galio in that bush. Sure. Telcos is always annoying to deal with. Because that guy can always poke you from like 10 feet away. Let's get to town. Uh, Darius is actually pushing top pretty hard. So we're going to have to move over there. I hope that this Darius will actually stay. But I'm afraid he's going to run because he's got Ghost. Yeah, I'm not going to chase that. I'm not going to chase down a Darius trying to run because he's going to go to Ghost away, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, we're like 80s. We're literally 80s. Yes, ahead of Adarius right now. A matchup which is not necessarily the best matchup out there for us. Pretty big difference. Uh, I actually want to get this camp. I think they might be coming over here. Gotcha. Hmm. Eh, that's where it ends. I played that in perfection, man. I dodged the Felco stuff. I perf I perfectly used my uh, my W with R. My I, I I dodged everything in perfection, man. But we just didn't have the damage to clean them up right now. That was super flawless. The, uh, sucks that we couldn't actually stop them from taking the Herald. I really tried to see if I could maybe stop them, but... You can't stop, like, four people, right? <laughs> so. We're gonna do the same thing on repeat. I'm gonna farm up every single jungle camp. I'm gonna farm up the side lanes. As much as possible. And I wanna try to face off Darius. Most importantly. These guys are apparently fighting again. <clears throat> okay. Can't fight them. 1v3. Oh. They're here already. I thought it would take a bit longer for him. Darius tries to fight my uh, my Lux. My Let's see if he overextends. Let's push this out. Apparently, this guy's. Oh wow, he's still trying to fight my uh, my Lux. We got him. See you later. I go back to pushing. Apparently, Felcross is balling again. Um, I could try to delete him. Still have to get my Hydra, though. They're trying to take the Drake right now. Eh, I hope we can stop these guys. I hope we can, actually. They will see me coming here. Hmm. Not a good team fight. I tried jumping in uh, just to start up the fight. But it didn't work out. These guys are pretty strong. We actually have Lucian like top farming out. So it didn't really work out. Keep farming up. All we have to do is just go back to farming. Whenever a team fight doesn't work out. This is going to be a pretty challenging game. I'm going to say that in advance. Like this. Aphelius is mega fat man. He's got so many kills. And. Our next item right now. Is going to be Sarek's Cage. 
we're going to have to get some kind of survivability right now. And Sterex Gauge is going to be that solution. Every Let's go back to pushing. All we have to do is just keep pressuring out this Darius. This Darius is super far behind. He's going to be useless for the rest of the game. Let's push next wave. We actually got two people here. Alright. I'm not really a huge fan of sharing XP with supports though. <laughs> if uh, people help you out, at least like try to not appear, you know, not show up, making it obvious. I found this out. Think of Baron. Eh, pretty disappointing. Maybe I can try to kill this Darius. I don't think he sees it. And nope. Galio Ultimate. Okay, let's back off again. This game so far is kind of uh, disappointing. We can't, we can't really hard snowball this one. So far. Nope. They group again. It's not going to work out. We got such an incredible lead, man. We we are so far ahead of this Darius, yet, right? We are so unbelievably strong as well. But we can't do anything at all. Because these guys are constantly grouping up their mega fed at the moment. <clears throat> hey, Brandon Air, thank you so much for the subprime, man. Hey, welcome to the sub family. Thank you so much. Kind of interesting how this is working out. I think he's gonna die already. Not gonna use my ultimate for that one. We'll be pretty troll. Push next wave. These guys are pushing mid lane, and I highly doubt we, there's much we can do. I'm gonna push next wave again. If I backboard, they're gonna go back anyway, so it's not gonna work out. <clears throat> Push out the next one as well. <clears throat> I still feel like we can probably we we have a fair chance to win this game. Uh as we are having a good game. It's just that it's gonna be super challenging for my team to make a comeback. Eh, walks away. Hmm. Okay. We got him. At least we got Darius in return for that. But man, this spell cost was actually worth 1,000 gold and we just... He just walked away. Eh. The 1,000 gold on spell cost would have made a pretty big difference if we had him. So it sucks that he actually walked away. It would be totally amazing if my team could actually defend the base right now. Let's get back. Got my Starx Gauge. Uh, they're going to go. To, they're going to get the next Drake. It's going to be their fourth Drake, guys. Oof. It's kind of funny how uh, we're having such a good game that we are literally worth gold right now at this stage when it's going this bad. It's pretty interesting. Keep pushing. Our next item is probably going to be Death Stance, although it's not really very good against them. I think I might actually go for Guardian's Angel instead. Just for that reason. Just taking everything I can while they take Drake. Got him. Okay, not bad. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, we end up like dying anyways because the team like uh, like they, they went on Darius instead. Wow. <laughs> oh man, this would have actually been a pretty uh, this this team fight was actually very winnable if only uh, they dropped on Zach right away and just killed Zach as soon as they could. <laughs> now for that reason, like Aphelios is alive. This guy's like 17 kills already, so he's walking over us. Uh, let's actually go for Guardian's Angel right now. We got to get some survivability. Okay, nice. Such a hard game, man. Such a hard one. We are so fed and yet we can't win. Because uh, of all of these guys being so ridiculously fed. <clears throat> Push the, uh, we're going to go back to pushing. We're going to farm up everything we can farm. Um, it would be great if I could get like a split going. Up against Darius. Nice. No one's here. They did already farm up the, the jungle camps, of course. They got four drakes now, so they have a lot of damage as well. Mm. Nice. Interesting to see a support farming ball lane. Mm. Okay, push next wave. Three people top set at the moment. They will push top completely, so we're going to farm this up as much as possible. I think they might reset. They might will. They go Baron. We just have to keep creating at least like this in the hopes that we can get fed enough soon. This camp is down. They're pushing top right now. I am currently 300 gold away from getting my Guardian's Angel. Two people top side, so I can push one more wave. My team should be able to clear down the wave. Should be able to. If my team can successfully defend this, it's going to be worth for us. Uh, we could maybe get tower, maybe. That was Darius. Yeah, we're going to have to back off now. They're finishing up the game. Uh, we got a Guardian's Angel. It sucks that my team actually died on our tower. Yeah, they could probably finish. Uh, yep. And I guess that's where it ends. Our support is pushing bot lane. Yeah, I don't know what to say. That was such a hard game, but whatever. We were mega, mega fed. It's just that the enemy team had a fed mid laner. They had a fed ADC. They had a fed jungler. Everyone was fed in their game except from Darius. Whatever. Um, in terms of damage, we've done 20k damage. Um, in terms of runes, this is what we have, guys. Now, before we end today's YouTube video, uh, just as always, guys, uh, this game is being played live on stream, guys. If you want to see me play live, I stream every single day, except Wednesday. Uh, link inside the description. But thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.